So today we are back at it again with the ultimate swarm deck, combining the infinite spawn of the witch with the swarm of the skeleton army in the graveyard to perpetually overwhelm almost any opponent. And then throw in the devastating elite barbarians for immediate bridge band potential. And you have the perfect giant graveyard deck to dominate on ladder. Hello, Mr. Hogwarts. We go elite barbarians here by itself. I'm not going to opt for the, uh, the snowball because we honestly, we did not have the Hogwarts anyways. Elite Barb's going in there. Let's go back to the middle. He might have giant skeleton. He might have delivery. He might have the ice golem. But when it gets that tower, come on, elite Barb. Yes, sir. Go in. Snowball here for slowage. And it did nothing. Hey, why are you laughing? I should be the one laughing, my friend. Does he have a log spell in there? Let's go Skeleton Army Witch here. He might have Earthquake, which is why I went the Witch. Oh, no Earthquake, but a log spell it is. Ready? Three, two, one. Nope, just the Musketeer just gets overwhelmed and destroyed. Come on, Witch. Go in there and destroy the Ice Golem. Stay out of tower range. And if I go Graveyard here, how much on a scale of 1 to 100 is this a bad idea? I'm willing to say probably 99. I mean, we get... Meh. Yeah. Decent damage tower, roughly. Yo, the grave is busted. Like 3,000 damage with an improperly placed graveyard. <laughs> oh, and he's having a good old time. So I'm having a good old time. Let's go bats over here for the for the musketeer. We still are flawless so far in this battle. If I want to go with the elite bar bands of destruction for his hog rider, we have that potential. But the question is, Mr. No Clan, where's your hog rider? Oh, there it is. Hello, Mr. Hog rider. Does he go pre log here? I'm gonna go E barbs. I think he's expecting a skeleton army, which is why I did not go skeleton army there. We, we always, have to, we always, we always have to expect the unexpected and unexpected expected. So we go in with the elite barbarians. What if they go to the tower right side? Come on, yes sir. And I go in. Um, let's snowball this witch away from my tower here. Oh, I don't know why I went witch there. I mean, he goes log right lane, which means the giant gets in the right tower. One more shot, please, giant. Oh, man, I could have got one more shot there. That would have been so close. He is back in this game. We're not really playing the greatest right now. So the question is, what is our alternative response here? If I go giant here left side, distract some here for a couple shots. He's going to go with hog right here right lane. And I think, honestly, just a grade right left side should get the job done. I want to arrow this all back here. Ready? Yes, sir. Come on, giant. We got to give him that tower right lane. Come on. Skeleton great to get some damage done. Come on, Skeletons. Yes, sir. All right. So we do trade towers. We, we let him get back into this game through a few improperly played defenses. Most primarily when I went Witch behind that giant left side of the arena and he had the Hog Runner on tower right lane. Um, I got a bit too greedy. I got a bit too greedy. I should have saved the Fire Elixir and just used E-Barbs or Skarmy right lane to destroy his uh, Hog Rider. But I didn't. And that's my mistake. That is 100% on me. I really want to go a giant Graver in the pocket right now. To see what it does. He's going to go cannon to pull my giant away from his tower. But the witch gets in and destroys. The graver builds up a respectable amount. The giant's still going in there. The graver is insane. The graveyard literally is insane. Instantly like 2,000 damage directly on his tower. All right, so don't think it against the one and only Team Black over here. Let's go guards over left lane. We have the witch to answer for the guards, and we see instantly a real giant on the right side of the arena. What does he have? Oh, well, hello there, NATO. Meet my elite barbarians there, buddy. So real giant NATO guards deck. Okay, sounds kind of spicy. We have a witch going in left lane. Let's go bats over here right side and get the snowboard to go for a skeleton army or a... Oh, what's a baby dragon? Let's go with snowball here. Knocks the baby dragon back. Might allow... He's asked it down, but the e-barbs deal a devastating amount of damage to that tower meanwhile the left lane the witch buys herself brought the tower down to 550 hp so we got a nice little lead here so far i don't want to go giant too aggressively because we don't know what his entire deck is yet Surprise. wait hello there mr pekka so it is a pekka Royal Giant deck. Okay, well, we have he's his opposite of rotation currently, so that should bode well for us, ideally. Although he does. Oh, he's gonna fall that down. Okay. Well, hello there, Mr. Fireball. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go Giant Graveyard here, left lane. He has to use the NATO against our graveyard here. The Witch just infinitely distracts and destroys the P.E.K.K.A. And then we have the tower getting destroyed, left lane. The Graveyard should be able to build up and finish off the guards. And now we are in a very, very dominant position here to close out this battle. Skarmy going down. He nails Skarmy in here. Oh, he does not. But guess what, buddies? We snowball this back. Ready? Boom. Bats destroy. 
And the Mighty gets some damage done. We will likely lose our tower right side of the arena here. So this battle is not over yet. We have five health remaining on our on our tower. It's gonna go real giant right now, right here, sir. Where is your royal? Oh, why hello there, Mr. Pekka. So we know he's got the NATO, the Zap, and the Fireball in there, all as perspective. Royal giant or giant counters, whatever it's called, just something counters, you know what I'm saying? All right, giant gray right here, left side of the arena, into the pocket. Arrow's going down for his guards, and we should be able to overwhelm and destroy just enough to get the tower destroyed. The skeletons pull the Pekka away from my giant, allowing it to go in, secure the job done, finish his tower off, and now we have a two crown lead. Now we're gonna go snowball here, no towers for you, my friend. Miner, get off my tower. <laughs> yes, sir. And now we're gonna wait a total of three seconds and go in. Giant graveyard in the pocket, all in for the three crown victory. Can we secure it? Let's go arrows here for some guards. There it is, there it is, there it is. That's down for the Pekka. Do we have enough time for a three crown? Do we have enough time for a three crown? Come on! Ah, dude, one! Why couldn't you just give me one three crown, buddy? Either way, I will take the victory. Good game, well played. Oh, this guy's going in with the dog. Oh, was so dead. He's gonna go pop and he's gonna go E-barbs here, right? Please don't have the elite ball, oh, dude, he does. I mean, the graveyard might get some respectable tower. He's gonna go bar build here, right? Ah, oh, the log spell. Yo, that severely hurts. Although, if I go skeleton army right here, it might be fine, ready? Skeleton army, destroy. Does he have the mirror? Does he have the power of anything to destroy us? Mr. Nuts, oh. what you got over here, my friend? Oh, the royal ghost. All right, so this is a three tier deck. It might be bad for us, or in an alternate universe, it might be okay. We'll kind of see how it goes. Let's go leap barf variant. Um, yeah, e barbs are fine. He's got two pumps down though, so this might be very bad. All right. Dun 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 Come on, E-Barbs. Let's get in there. I don't know what the arrows achieved, but we do get some bad damage to that tower. And now we go in with the Witch of Destruction to lay the Royal Smackdown, the Royal Beatdown on the Royal Ghost. Now, I kind of really, really, really want to go with a Graveyard. Hmm. Bad idea. Yes. Did I do it? Also a yes. But... There's good news, and there's good news. And the good news is that we did a respectable amount of tower damage. Yes. He also has a log spell arenas here for this. Let's go with e barbs instead. I was thinking about going in with the um, Skarmy. Oh. If I go bats here, he has to go. See, he pre-logs it down. The bats destroy the e barbs. Oh my goodness, those level 16 e barbs are in insane. I would dare say in Shane. But our e finish this tower off. We're still in this game over here. I might opt to ignore that itty bitty real ghost committee over here. Let's go in with a. Oh, nope. Yep, we're dead. Although we might be vibing here. Let's go. Let's see how it goes. He's going to go split lane, elite barb, bearing push. He's probably going to go elite barb's right lane and then me roar them up to the left side of the arena. But we'll see how it goes. Let's go arrows here initially. Bop, 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 bop. Which goes in. I want to know where the mirror's at. Okay, there's this. There's the log spell. We're not to ignore the musketeer right side of the arena. And I'm debating going in with a graveyard giant push here. Bats up in the business to give him the business. And then we're going to go in with the arrows of destruction, allowing our bats to finish off his musketeers. The graveyard building up, installing all of the fears into Mr. Nuts. Let's go. Ooh. Where's your leap bar appearance, my friend? Ooh. Oh, how did that skeleton army distract? That was absolute and utter, all, almost perfection. I'm debating going graveyard giant in the pocket. I don't think he has enough responses in hand for this. He might try and go in with, no, he's just gone. He's just out of here. You see what I said, what I meant, what I, what I said against Mr. Nuts? That we were not out of this game. We still had it in us. And we did, my friend. Good game. Well played. Oi! Get out of here, Mr. Goblin Barrel. Bop! Destroys all the goblins. He gets one staff in the store tower. But we are in a pretty good position here so far to continue this battle. A uh, log spell. Wah, wah, wah. We're gonna go back over here, back lane. What does he got for this? Princess? Goblin Barrel. I really want to go in with a giant graveyard. Obviously, that Dark Goblin's not going to get within tower range, which is unfortunate. And I need the bats for the Infernal Tower. If he's got Infernal, he's got Cannon. Okay, it's going to be a Mighty Miner Cycle deck. But if I go Graveyard here, it's a terrible idea. But I'm doing it. Oh, he's got Valkyrie. Okay, it's not the Mighty Miner deck that I thought it was going to be. I thought it was Mighty Miner Cycle, but it's just got Valkyrie in there. Okay, okay. 
that happens. We get a little bit tower damage done. We don't have damage lead though. He's gonna go maybe a graveyard. Let's just go snowball here. Should stun the Valkyrie and then damage the Fire Spirit. And we have the Skeletal Emirate to go for a Goblin Barrel for a decent response here. No damage done. Yo, and we got a 500 damage lead. Hello, Mr. Dark Elven. Welcome to the darkness, my friend. Eat this. Oh, let's go. Yes, sir. And the bats destroy. Now, there's a pretty solid chance that he does have a rocket in there. So I never want to use the witch next to my tower. And if I go Elite Barbarian Power, I can almost guarantee he just goes in with the rocket to destroy Elite Barbarian. Let's go witch over here to hopefully go away from our tower. John should destroy it. Get my arrows ready to go for a potential Dark Gobble. Sir. Uh, let's just go snowball here by itself. Should destroy it nicely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this is what I mean. If I go in with any sort of uh, elite barbarians right now, I can almost guarantee that he just goes in with the uh, rocket. So let's just chill. Let's just chill. Let's go bats here for the Valkyrie. As far as puts out of rotation, he has to go with the Goblin Bill. He's going to go pre-log it for this. No. So this just destroys it now. Let me go giant up front. Maybe a graver counter push. And then we get the arrows locked and loaded, ready to go for his Dark Goblin of Destruction. Yes, sir. That is perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we have the bats going in. Should be able to get some decent damage done to this Valkyrie. We have the Valkyrie away from the tower, away from our giant, allowing the giant to go in there and get a couple of smackdowns on that uh, tower there. And then we can go Witch over here, left side for this. You know what? Pre-log for this, no? Oh, man. You got to pre-log that down. You know I had that in there. You know I had that in there, my friend. Oh, but look at this. Ready for this? We go Ebox here for the Dark Goblin. Destroys it initially. Then finishes off the Valkyrie. Arrows down the Dark Goblin right now. He obviously has a much faster signal than we do, which he's trying to use to his advantage here. But little does he know, we have the Elite Barbarian going in, forcing out a Lock Spell. Snowball is a bit delayed. I dropped that way earlier. What the what? Uh, let's go. Bats over here, left lane. Uh, maybe a. Hmm. Wait for this initially. Then we're gonna go bats over here for the dark goblin, which over here right in the middle. It's got the army for the graveyard. And then the giant should be able to force a little bit of tower pressure. The dark goblin is still alive. Come on, Clash Riel. Is this real life, my friend? The dark goblin is still alive. Let's go witch over here. Come on. There's this back here. Hmm. Yo, they, did that Ewar literally just hit over the river? Are we seeing the same thing here, my friends? Are we seeing the same game? The Elite Barbarian reached over the river. If my eyes did not deceive me, that is what actually just happened. <laughs> that is actually what just transpired. Oh my goodness. Uh, we didn't go. Uh, Ebarb's here. That is a barrel going down my top. It's arrows down. Bop, 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 bop. Yes, sir. Ebarb should destroy that. Then I want to really come on, Ebarb. Get to, get to, get to the dark. Yes, sir. Let's go. And then all we need is a graveyard of destruction. Bats for his cannon. And then we go in with one more giant. Snowball away the Valkyrie. Slow it down. Because I'm here for the golden barrel to keep the arrows of rotation for his tower damages. We arrows down the, the cannon, keeping our giant alive further. The giant should be get in there. He loves the giant back to get it off of his tower. But guess what? It is it's not enough. The giant goes in, the tower goes down, and we have ourselves a solid one crown victory. Very well played. Well, hello there, Mr. Mini Pekka. Meet my witch and the infinite skeleton army, which you are about to destroy your hopes and dreams. What do you got in the strategy here, my friend? The, the skeletons go in there. Oh, it is a sparky deck, but his main giant counter should be out of rotation here, considering he just went Mini Pekka. He might have skeleton army in as well. He's got. Oh, no. I kind of want to arrows that down here really badly. He's going to go Electro Wizard here left lane. I think we keep the Elixir for the arrows. I think we keep the Elixir. We know that he's going to go in with a Goblin Giant right lane. He's got a Zappa Reno's in there for the Sparky. We get one shot to our tower. And then we go e barbs here to destroy the Sparky without getting any damage. To hey, yo, oh, well played, my friend. Okay. Oh, uh, nice little, little natal there, my friend. Um, that kind of caught me off guard. We do trade towers. The, the Giant Push left lane was optimal. The NATO caught me off guard because typically these decks use Zap spell, and that's why I went Ebarbs. I knew that if I went Skeleton Army, he would have had the Zap for the Skeleton Army immediately, or so I thought. I thought he had the Zap in there, but little did I know he was running the NATO all of this time. I'm gonna go bats over here, right lane, for this dank prince. He's got mini packet in rotation, which means I don't really want to go giant um, for the. Oh, we can go giant here, right lane, though. We can't really afford a giant graveyard push yet. So I think what we do right now is we should let the witch destroy that mini P.E.K.K.A. Then we're going to go... Ooh, you know what? I'm going to yellow it here, boys. This garbage distracts the uh, Sparky here. The giant goes down, but a bit late. We arrows down some minions here. 
We get the Electro Wizard in there as well. Not really the most ideal value, but the Giant gets a couple of Macarinos in there. We arrows that back. We get a million and a half skeletons on that tower left side. He nados the Witch in there, which means he's got no NATO now for our Skeleton Army or our Bats, uh, or to pull the Elite Barbarians in as well. So that might be okay. If I go EMS here, he pulls it to the right side with the Goblin Giant. So, let's go Bats over here, right lane. He's gonna go Goblin Giant in front of the Sparky, right side of the arena. There it is, there it is, there it is. Dark Prince charges here. Wait for it to hit the Skeleton first. Then we go, boom. Bada bing. Let's go. Boom. There we go. There's a back here. Finishes off the minions plus the Dane Prince. The Witch in there, they raged up. Destroys everything. And then we finish off the Dark Prince. And we're gonna go a Giant Grave in the pocket here. He does have Mini Packet in hand, but guess what? With the power of the Sparky going down. He's got no laser left. The Giant goes in. We snowball it all down. The Giant goes in there. Gets once back to that tower. He nails it back. But the Witch gets in there. He puts a few more skeletons out. And oh, that's bad for us, dude. Holy moly. That was not good. The, the question here is which lane is he going to go in? Is he go for the three crown or the two crown? I think he's going to go for the two crown. So I'm going to go here. Oh, it's a unique barbs here, right side. Arrows this minions down here. We should be fine with this. And we go back for the Electro Wizard here. Which finishes off the skeletons there. We soak a few shots to our tower with the Dark Prince. Which finishes off the Sparky. And then we need to get 10 left left for a giant graveyard push. But the question is, where is his goblin giant? All right, way to go here. He's going to nail that L in here. But the power of the witch might destroy here. So let's back right here. Slows down the Dark Prince. We have enough time to get the Elite Barbarians down as well for this dang prince here. Meanwhile, we almost three crown there, but oh, we almost get three crown too. This battle is going for the for the paces, going for the races. Graver going down here. There's the uh, the Electro Wizard there. Sorry, the Barb's going in. Is it enough damage here to win the game? That's the question, my friends. Skeleton's in there. Watch out the tower, please. No! The Nato goes in there, but the giant might get the damage done. If I go with Snowball here for a mini Pekka, we might be vibing. Snowballing it back right here. Let's go Electro Wizard. We need one giant shot. One more giant shot, please. And there we go. Securing the two crown victory. That is a very difficult matchup because the Sparky destroys a giant as well as almost the entire deck we have. That battle was absolutely insane, but we made it happen with 770 health remaining on its King Tower and honestly, 900 on ours. But that is it, video, guys and girls. Thank you for spending some of your time with me today. I wish you all a fantastic rest of your day. We shall see you all in the next one.